Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and all the news in details. Insecurity, confusion persists over who is behind Southeast attacks. The identity of the perpetrators of the rising attacks on police facilities and its personnel in the Southeast geopolitical zone has continued to give Nigerians a cause for concern. Daily Post reports that there seems to be confusion among the government and the security agencies. Since the government began their operation, they have remained unknown with accusing fingers continue to point in different directions with claims and counterclaims. There is no doubt that the, that the situation in the South is, is becoming troubling following what seems to be coordinated and patterned attacks on security agencies, especially the police, from Anabra to Himo State, Enugun to Eboyi and Ab Abia State. The police seems to have become an endangered species where the government and the security agencies had a loss, not just in containing them, but in identifying who the perpetrators are. A major saw point in the entire scenario is the has hasty conclusions by people who are saddled with the responsibility of securing the people in charge with investigations of crimes, especially the victims of the attacks, the police. At a most hasty conclusion, Nigerians immediate past Inspector General of Police Mohammed Adamu in what may go down as an unprofessional statement accused the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra and a security outfit, the Eastern Security Network ESN, of complicity in the attack of the headquarters of the Himu State Police Command and the Oweri Correctional Center on Easter Monday. The former police chief in what later became the last official assignment and last day in police office was in Oweri just a day after the attack, making sweeping categorical statements without even a preliminary preliminary investigation. Investigation revealed that the attackers are members of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, Eastern Security Network, ESN. Adamu said in a statement released by false spokesman Frank Humba moment after Adamu's visit, though the then police boss, according to Umba's statement, said Hypop, ESN were identified as the group rights during the investigation and appealed by the former high GP in the same statement, Appealed, appeared contradictory. The high GP calls on citizens to avail the police and other security agencies with useful information that can assist in identifying and, ar and arresting the criminals. He vowed that the perpetrators will be brought to the book, noting that the force is doing, is doing all within its power to curb the activities of unscrupulous elements how brains on threatening the unity, safety, security, and socio-economic well-being of Nigerians. For those who can read between the lines, what Adamu may have done just amounted to putting the cart before the horse, making a sweeping statement on a crime as huge as the train attacks in a way without much of an investigative effort, and turning around in the same breath to appeal to citizens to help with information that will help identify the perpetrators of the same crime you have accused someone of. Uzodima's bias comment. He must say that Uzodima is believed by many Nigerians, especially in the Southeast, to have acts to grind with Hypo. There is no doubt, too, that Hypo sees in the governor an antagonist of some sort, especially since Uzodima invited the military to chase ESN operators out of the forest of Olu area of the state. So it was understandable when the governor, governor bought the hasty judgment of Mohammed Adamu by accu accusing Hypo PSN of the attacks in Himo and indeed the entire Southeast. Speaking during the visit of Adamu to the attacked, Himo Police Command Headquarters, whose Adima cordoned officers and men of the force to defend themselves against a sectionist group with their service rifle. The governor said, if you can't attack them, you can at least use your rifles to defend yourself. Any attack on police formations is an insult to us 
as a government. It is also an attack on the integrity of the government. We must take charge, take control, and ensure discipline. Those are the most speedy recant. Just that they have to ask the operatives of the police to defend themselves against hyper members. Governor Zodima recanted, saying hyper had no hand in the attack. He blamed the attack on aggrieved politicians. Speaking while appearing as a guest on Chinese television politics today, the Humo governor said a group of aggrieved politicians sponsored the attack to destabilize the government of APC. He said their tactic is that they try to identify grievances of people in a particular area, if it is in Imo State and probably there are some hypo people who are not happy, they hire hoodlums from outside Imo State. They bring them in pretending to be hypo and they commit these crimes and they go away. So it is not about hypo. Yes, we agree. We have aggrieved hypo members, but I can tell you those who are doing this destruction, most of them are brought in from outside Himo State. What is important for Nigeria to know is the plot by a group of aggrieved politicians to destabilize the government of APC. I've done some thorough investigations and I have some credible leads as to those who are sponsoring those activities of these hoodlums. I don't want to preempt the investigations of other security agencies, but I can tell you we are working hard to ensure the sponsors of this dastardly heart must be brought to book. From the above statement of Governor Hopo Zodima, the perpetrators of the attacks are politicians and their motive is to destabilize the APC government. The governor also said he has carried out thorough investigation and has credible and has credible lead. What then is the governor and the security agency waiting for? What stops them from using the lead to arrest these aggrieved politicians and the foot soldiers so has to stop the ongoing carnages? The only reason is that Uzodima's statement may just be another hasty conclusion or a political statement that has no real substances in it. Wow, so viewers, what do you think about this? What is your own take about what Governor Uzodima said? You know, saying that I probe is not in charge of this crime. Definitely, I will support that because we know that Biafran people are up for peace, not for evil at all. And Biafran people, they are not terrorist organization. So guys, well, kindly drop your comments in the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. And if you're here to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. Have a lovely day. Bye.